Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I received this package from Donkey Journals on Wednesday. Today is Sunday, September 3rd. So I have been holding on to it for a little bit because I wanted to open it with you. I have a list of all the things that I got and instead of opening it and going through uh, on my own, I thought that I would share it with my viewers. So. Um, I'm going to dig right in, so let's just open this up. Um, this came from Finland. It did take a while to come. Five weeks, I believe. I can double check when I placed the order and when it came, but it was about five weeks. And in the description below, I will list um, the shop on Instagram where I bought these items. So I did twist around the envelope because it has my address and the sender's address on it. So, oh, look at this. Okay, put this off to the side and make sure there's not extra things in there. Nope, okay. So here we go. Please excuse the crinkling noise here, but I'm gonna flip this over and take everything out and then we'll go through everything. Okay, so let's flip it over. So um, this shop, uh, Donkey Journals, is where I where I get most of my um, antique and vintage paper ephemera. So this I usually purchase every couple months. There was a time when I was purchasing very often. <laughs> And um, it became uh, at a point where I was just ordering and ordering and ordering and not actually using any of the products and just constantly ordering them. So I kind of put a halt to that um, because I need to start creating. It's just um, time hasn't been on my side. So sometimes it's easier. Let me know in the comment section if you can relate, but sometimes it is just easier to buy and collect than to actually use and create. I think some of us might struggle with that. I am at this moment. <laughs> so I stopped purchasing and just started um, started creating. So I do want to show you what I got in my last order. Okay, so let's start with this on the top and we'll unfold these. So this would be, okay. These look like receipts and I'm going to say that these are, um, list of goods, no, these are probably um, check stubs, yes, so antique check stubs, 10 pieces. Um, antique because it's from 1897 as you can see right there so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and maybe I'm missing one or maybe I passed over one anyways it doesn't matter so I mentioned in my last video that I always like to go through these antique papers that I buy and look for my birthday or um, a birthday of somebody I know or an important date. And I have yet to find my birthday, which by the way is today. Today is September 3rd is my birthday. So I decided today what I was gonna do is go around town, buy myself something nice, have an afternoon beverage and some lunch and open my package. Oh, and I bought a cake for myself as well. <laughs> so we got April, oh, August 17th, and May 18th. Anyways, I think these are very cool because, you know, like on the date, 1897. Oh, that's the one I was missing because these are stuck together. Anyways, I love these. Put those to the side. This is um, the logo, the Donkey Journals logo. So she threw that in there as well. Okay, so let's move on. I'm gonna unfold this. These are the um, 
vintage small glassine envelopes, 10 pieces of these. So these are, I've been waiting for these because I actually have some um, baby's breath from um, a bouquet of flowers that I bought on Mother's Day. And so I was looking forward to these so I can slip them in here. This one has some writing on it, which is super cool. Okay. This one has a T. All right. Oh, I think that she threw this in because this came in my last order. So sometimes she'll throw in some freebies. So I got this um, vintage postcard, beautiful colors. This is the abstract of title. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Let me see here, abstract of title blue. Oh no, sorry, that's this one under here. So this one is the antique abstract of title. And this is, uh, um, a date will appear on it somewhere, I'm sure. It says 75. And that's not 1975 for sure. That's not, it must be 18 because 1975 is not antique. <laughs> I was born in 1980, so that's not, that can't be because I'm not antique. So, wow, this is actually very, very neat. Look at all these pages. This was well worth what I paid for it, for sure. I think this was $16 uh, US. And I had to convert it because I'm in Canada, so I have to convert this to Canadian. But yeah, this, yep, I'm right here, 1878. Oh my goodness, look, this has so many papers. Like, this is amazing. There's a lot in here. I'm not going to go through all because they all kind of look the same. But that's, and, and the back, this. Oh, I don't want to catch it on my camera my candle map of hill country texas oh my goodness and look at this the ribbon is still in there and look at this seal oh wow this is a really really cool find can you believe it took me um four days to open this okay i'm gonna put this one over here and this is the blue abstract of title and this is dated Oh, I don't see a date yet, but this has, um, what are these called? I don't want to call them brads, but it's not there. Anyways, it has escaped me. But the date on here should appear. And oh my gosh, look at these papers. These are, look at how, look at these, can you hear that? Like, they're so thin and beautiful. 18, 50, December 4th, 1855. Oh, this is amazing. You know what? I want to rip this up for a journal, but it's going to be really, really, really difficult to rip up because it's just like perfect. Look at that. Oh, and then it folds like this. Oh my goodness. Just love it. All right. And, and then we have, these are the ledger sheets. Um, antique odd fellow ledger sheets, five pieces. And these are, I'll try to find a date here, but I can't, that's okay. So these kind of look like this. And these are all separate and they have, they're all numbered at the top. So there's five of those. And this is 1871 and oh boy this is abstract of title glassy mags we already did that uh finnish merchandise list of goods no this is not finished this is in english anywho this is these are ledger sheets <laughs> with absolutely beautiful writing Amazing. And this is the dictionary pages. So antique dictionary page assortment, 15 pages. 
And so here's some smaller ones. And these are, I, are these English? No, these are French. So here's a few French ones. And I just, I got a, a few of these in my last, um, my last package. These are very soft and I can feel that they're very delicate. Like, let's just try, okay, let's just go for it. That's that and I bet this is probably gonna rip so easily because it's, yeah, like, look, right? So these will be probably be better as a collage rather than um, putting them into a signature because I feel like they're very, um, very delicate, right? And then these are the um, Farmer's Magazine pages. Okay, so yes, those were the dictionary pages. These are the um, Farmer's Magazine pages. Okay, let's flip that around. There we go. Amazing. These are so big and they're, I, I got so many great papers in this order, guys. I'm so excited about it. Yes, so I think um, I need to get to work and start creating and making some stuff because I have so much stuff between this order and the last order I placed. But yes, that is the end of my video. So I just want to thank everyone for watching. Thank you so much for um, commenting and let me know what you think of uh, all the goodies that uh, I got in this package. All right. Well, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.